how's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, well, I don't know why I'm talking like this, but, <gasps> wow, that was a big hiccup. How's it going, ducks? <laughs> Rick, are you in the water? Do we need it. Let's clean that water. That, that water's looking like, uh, milk toast. What's up, chicken? <laughs> help him, help him out of the water. I don't think he can get out. There you go. There you go bud. Yeah, let's dump this, bro. This is like, this is a bad deal. <laughs> Whatever, we're going for it. Yeah. There you go. Well, there's your duck ASMR for the day. We need to get some water in this thing, so we got an idea. We're gonna fill a sled up and use the mule to bring the sled back, and you guys just stay tuned. That's right, good. Oh, that actually worked better than I thought. There you go, ducklings. Oh, he's getting a drink. Look at him. There's a spider in there. He just, oh, he just ate it. it. Yeah, he ate the spider. Whoa! Do you know ducks eat insects like that? He literally just walked over there and murked a spider and walked away. Anyways, we got new fresh water for the old ducks. They're they're doing they're doing duck things. Chickens are doing chicken things. And uh, well, we kind of want to go do some frog hunting tonight. It's kind of like it's getting to that point where it's starting to get a little too cold to do well to, to for the frogs. You know, frog season's kind of coming to an end here, and uh, we want to go frog gigging that's one thing we have not done which is like honestly it's probably the most common way to kill frogs which is gigging and it's one thing that we have yet to do uh on my channel so we need to we have like the, the the gig the prong things but we need to get sticks so we want to try to go find some of that and then we're going to go to the farm at dark and do a night gigging video hopefully we'll do a catch clean cook um and we might even do a little bit of coyote hunting before that we've been hearing the coyotes now that we have this set up here which is the netting the chickens to the ducks we don't lock the ducks up with the chickens just don't want them to have a little fiasco here and um, we lock the chickens up but the ducks are kind of free game for any of the coyotes and stuff i mean assuming they could get through the electric fence which i feel like they probably couldn't but you just never know maybe they could jump it or whatever you guys get the idea so we are going to be doing some coyote hunting a little bit later tonight here like i think we should set it up like literally right here where we're at now and see if we can get them to come in here to towards the chicken coop to take them out so anyways that's what we're going to be doing next you guys stay tuned Mushroom. What the heck? That's a mushroom, bro. Dude, let's eat it. That's a mushroom? That's a mushroom, dude. Why are you guys touching that? I don't know. What's going to happen? It feels cool. You've touched we, worse. We have a shotgun? Yeah. yeah. Midway down towards the pond, found a giant mushroom. I thought it was a freaking ostrich egg. I thought we had a We have a mystery cow here. I thought we had a mystery ostrich, but Sniff false it. alarm. Don't worry. They don't really smell like much. <laughs> oh, it broke off. Oh! Oh, the tree! Bro, it broke in half! Trimming trees, bro. Ready? Oh! That was kind of cool. Sharpshooter McGee. Anyways, let's go to the pond. Shoo! Well, made down to the pond, boys. What do we got here, Bonzo? Bought these for you. Five prong fish spear. Yeah. So we need to get a stick for that, yeah, I guess. And there's a set screw. So. Yeah. So I figure this, this my the boat shed that we opened up, we shot. Oh, yeah. That was a frog. That was a frog. Oh, what the hell, man? Why don't we just do it right here? So anyways, I opened this shed up in a video, shot the lock with an AR-15. Pretty neat. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it. But we're going to see if there's anything in here that we can utilize for uh, the frog spear. <laughs> what do we got? These are all metal, eh? Oh, do we even? Did you did anyone even see this in here? Is that a clay throw? Yeah. Really? That's kind of cool. I didn't even see that. Or can you put it inside that? And like just duct tape that sucker? I feel like that's a strap. Same size. It's the same size. I mean, you could still duct tape it. I mean, duct tape fixes everything. But that's a hell of a spear, too. I mean, you're gonna want some length. Like, we're gonna find oh, yeah. a stick that's got length that's like. I don't know. What if we just makeshift this one? Okay, well, I say we should at least take this. Maybe try to find a stick and do the other one. But I feel like stick's gonna be kind of hard. This, duct tape. I say we try to find a stick, though, like a wood, a wood stick. We want something with some girth. Everybody loves a girthy stick, so. Oh, oh God, God, this should be good. I'm gonna let this go right as he gets the leg. Oh, let it go, bro. <laughs> right here. Oh, get good. Uh, hey, that hit, that hit you right in the gooch, huh? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, we have a chainsaw. Let's just go get a chainsaw. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We're getting a chainsaw. Wait, hang on. We don't need a chainsaw. We got this. This one works. Do you think that's strong? Like when you stab yeah. them? Yeah. All right. Let's see. How does this work? Ooh, like a glove. Ah! Oh, God. Ah! Ah! Oh! oh wow! Oh, yeah. oh, we'll kill the hell out of some frogs. Oh yeah. You just need another one like this. Are you gonna do, want to do that other one? Yeah, I'm gonna use the metal. Metal right. versus stick. I'm using stick. Okay. Good. 
Oh yeah, she ain't even coming off, boys. Just need a little duct tape for some extra protection. Oh yeah, we're about to stab some hella frogs. Oh god, yeah, she ain't going nowhere, boys. Nope. Look at mine. That looks like I know what I'm doing. That looks like, uh... Should we do a penetration test? We can go further. We definitely should. Let's get a cardboard box. Yeah, stand behind this line. Okay. And chuck it, and whoever goes further wins. Yours is definitely going to. You got, like, more weight on yours, dude. Go ahead. Ah! Wow. Ooh. That frog is Gonzo Bonzo. Shoo! That's pretty accurate. I thought you were gonna. Dude, I went through the other side. Oh, this thing's definitely dead. <laughs> yeah! At least I missed. That was good. That was good. Definitely not as far, but I mean, still killed a frog. You're up, Slayman. Which one you gotta take a pick? Dude, how do you. This thing's cheeks, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he missed. He skipped off the group. Here, here, throw this one. Throw this one. Throw that one. Oh! Wow. Well, that's a dead frog there, big guy. It's alright. We're gonna kill frogs. No matter why, I think we're killing frogs. Like I said, we are going gigging tonight. But we need to wait. We need. We need to calm down. We're like here. We take it down here because we're being kind of loud and we're gonna be coyote hunting. 100 yards that way. We're gonna set up the coyote call and all that stuff down by the chicken coop. See if we can kill some coyotes before we go frog digging. You guys stay tuned. What's going on, folks? We gotta be quiet. It's starting to get dark. Sunset. I'm strapped with an AR-15. Bonzo. Shoddy. 12 gauge shotgun. Send it. Rick. 22 Magnum. Henry. We've got coyote collar in the sticks. And I just think we should hide in the shed. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hide inside the shed. There's no wind, so we gotta be really quiet. Gotta protect the animals. We gotta protect the ducks and the I want to put it back there because like they can't come in and it basically it would have to show itself right at the entrance and then you kill it. I mean, the thing is if we see a coyote, it's dead. I mean, we are going to lace it. I, I'm guessing what would happen is we'll they're going to come in ditch. and they're going to go right here and then they're going to pop out right in the ditch mm -hmm. instead of like in the open road. Or we don't have to go in the boat, why don't we use the boat as a rest? Yeah. Can we do that? I'm honestly surprised we haven't heard them yet. They're usually howling by now. This is gonna be, this is good. Like, when I walked up there, if they're anywhere in that prairie grass, they can see the call. So like, I think we're have, actually have a good chance. I really do have a good feeling about this. I just don't know if they'll come in all the way, but this is probably the best spot we've picked yet. So, so let's just give her a rip and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna start off quiet. Bonzo, quit sending nudes. Let's go. You ready? Where's your gun? Dude, put that on your shoulder, bro. It's gonna happen fast, man. All right, start off kind of quiet. Go to the lucky cottontail. That's the strat. God, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous, bro. I'm missing my baby. I'm nervous, bro. All right, well, botch. We have uh, yet to dial in the coyote hunting here at the house. We think part of the problem is that where we hunted today was we hear the coyotes somewhat nearby, but it's the neighbor's property, so I just can't hunt that. The house has a ton of lights on it, and like having them look anywhere over here with the call, not a good idea. So I think the next strat is to probably leave those alone and go after the first group we heard, which was like down by the pond, which I think we could probably get a coyote to come in over there. When they come anywhere near this house, like I said, there's just lights on the front front porch, stuff like that. I think it's kind of tough. So I think the next hunt we do, we got to do it down by the pond, but time to go frog gigging. You boys ready to kill some frogs? Yes, sir. Oh, why is that so tight in my eye? That was a bad deal. That's right oh, in his eye. Your eye. Right in the okay. cornea. Made it down to the firm. This is the first time we've hunted frogs at night here, eh? We've seen them before. Let's get the stick. You guys are using the sticks. I'm using the metal. Yes, sir. We're gonna see if we can gig more frogs. Dude, I gotta take a poop. Let's go Alright, let's do this. One little small. 
Oh, you missed? Like, you gotta go harder? Yeah. Really? So, like, it goes all the way through. Oh, yeah. I guess I didn't realize that. Man, you got Botch, bro. We got really Dang close. That's good. That's good. We'll go that way. I thought you just hit him. I didn't realize you had to, like, drive it to the ground. That's my B. Got him. Oh, nice. Got him. That thing is huge. <laughs> oh. Is that one of the biggest frogs you've ever bro. killed? Bro! <laughs> Go. Dude, this is kind of dope. Honestly, I understand why people do this now. Right through the dome, bro. <laughs> that meat, though. Bro, that's hella meat right there. Right through the dome, bro. This is fun. I don't know why have we not done this before. This is, that was so fun, dude. All right, one down, baby. I'm taking it serious now. I got one, one down. But we're finding that a lot of these big frogs are kind of out in the middle of the canal. So we're suiting up to get an advantage on them. I'm getting the waders on. It's game time. That's what you get to use. The hoe. The hoe. Right all right, Bonzo, this is all you, baby. Oh, it was deep there. Dang, Bonzo. Bonzo missed one. I thought you had. I mean, you hit him. I don't know what. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sheesh. There you go, him. Bonzo. You good in. Getting better at this. You're getting better. The old wood stick still works, man. Yeah. That'll eat, son. That'll go in the bag. That'll oh. eat. Slamming, you got this. With the rake. No way this works. Oh, oh that's deep right there. Zero percent chance you got him. That was deep right there, bro. There's Come back no up with it. We gave Slamming a rake. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Buddy, yeah. buddy doesn't think the rake's the strap. The rake is definitely the strap. You see, mine has five prongs. This has like 15. KO'd, bro. It's KO'd. Right through the you're, dome. You're Look at it, right through the dome, bro. Sheesh. The old rake. I told you, the rake's a strap, bro. You got more surface area. Shoo. What up, boys? Alright. You boys search for this? We're going for. Right okay. We're going after the long shot here. Dude, if you got it when you were throwing it, that would have been so cool. That was close. Yeah. Shee, we got beefcakes. That's, that's a wrap there, boys. Time to clean these guys up. All right, so this is you, and these are all the guys she tells you not to worry about. Isn't that right, Bob? It's a bad deal. That's, yeah, sheesh, guy. These are mine. That was yours. Yeah. Hey, I killed one. Look at these two guys. What'd they, what'd they contribute to the team? Slamming with milk toast. We got three honk daddies here and uh, one little guy. And uh, we're going to clean these things. I'll show you guys how to clean them. And I'll show you them many times. So if you guys have already seen this before or you don't want to see graphic stuff, click out. Well, don't click out. Just fast forward. Okay? Yeah, please don't click out. Stay to the end. It's going to be good. All right. Here we go. Boom. Biggins. All right. So first things first. I like to, for some reason, it works way better when you cut them up here. So, I mean, the meat is pretty much here down. But when you cut it up here, when you pull the skin back, it seems to work better. So I always kind of grab them right behind the head a little bit. And you just make a nice cut. You don't want to go too deep. You just want to cut that skinny. Make sure you have a sharp knife, which clearly I do not today. Boom. Okay. Next, what you want to do, I usually grab a pair of pliers, something like this. You want to grab its skin right here. Give it a nice hard pinch. And you want to grab onto his head. Just give it a nice steady pull. All the way down. Dude, that's a freaking beefy frog. Then, this is your meat. This is the good meat right here. All this is like looks like chicken. That's good meat. Take your knife, just cut it right over the backbone just like this. Just like that. Separate the legs. Boom. Then you cut it right here at this joint here. And two. There you've got it. Frog legs. So we're going to do that to the rest of these guys. Wash them off. What do you guys think about eggs and frog legs? Eggs and legs. Eggs and legs, there you go. Might have just came up with something there. Eggs and legs. I say, it's getting kind of late right now. We're getting kind of tired. I say we just kind of let these things marinate in water or something. Kind of clean up a little bit. And maybe throw them in the eggs in the morning for breakfast. Anyways, we're going to get the rest of this cleaning. See you guys in the morning. What's up, ladies? How's it going? 
What's up? Good morning. How's it going? We're ready to eat some frogs. But what did I say last night? Eggs and legs, legs and eggs. We gotta get eggs from the chicken coop. Is that buddy? All right, we, we taking guesses on this. We checked this not that long ago. It hasn't been that long. Two. Hours. Two? 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 Three. I'll go two. Oh, we got two! Sheesh! It's like we're freaking chicken whispers. We got two, we got a brown one and uh call it tan. Two will do. I feel like two two will make a uh, a little omelet. So and I do have more eggs at home. We've been collecting them from the chickens for a while, but these two are going in the skillet. Alright, what do you boys think the strat is here? Yeah, we, we got frog legs by the way. This is what they came out to look like last night. I think we should just chunk it off and like bite size it. Like little like kinda like you would do like Sausage, like mm -hmm. like little bits. Yeah, dude, these are some beefy frogs. I, I kind of feel bad not frying them whole because like there's some straight beef cakes, but they'll provide a lot of meat, which is all that really matters, I guess. So I think we're just gonna try to see if we can get the meat off of the bone in a sense, and then we're going to is is a proper word sear sear them, kind of cook them basically, just so we don't get salmon and vanilla, and then we'll throw them in the eggs after that. It's a beefcake of an omelet. Yeah. Definitely went a little too hard on the eggs for this little of a skillet, but. Five eggs? Five eggs. It's a five egg omelet. I want to make sure that you're fed up, man. You're beefcake, so. Well, we're gonna let this thing cool down and everybody's gonna try it. We're gonna see if it's any good. Boom. Well, everybody got fork? Got fork. I'm going ketchup less on the first round. What are you guys doing? Sure. Yeah. You going ke with ketchup or without? No ketchup. What about you? You're a big ketchup guy. Ketchup. So you gotta make sure you get some egg and leg in the first bite. Look at that. Egg. Egg, leg. That's really not that bad. The flavor is actually really good on that. The seasoning salt was the good one. Yeah. 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 That's actually better than I thought it'd be, honestly. Frog leg and egg. Who would have thought? I'd say it's a little more froggy than normal. You can taste the frog flavor a little more. Yeah. We didn't hide it as much, but it's, not it's bad really not bad at all. Oh, that's no. good. Like it actually it. tastes pretty freaking good. John's gonna be the judge. All right, Johnny. We need we need some egg no, and kidding. some leg. All right. I'll go no ketchup. Oh Thank really? You. Okay, okay. Let's see it. Chewy. It's a little chewy, yeah. Egg's good. Frog's a little bit chewier than the usual. Yeah. I think he's trying to be a hard critic. Yeah, he is trying to be a hard ass. I mean, it's not bad. What are you freaking Gordon Ramsay? Relax. Tastes good, all right? Yeah, it's edible. It's good. edible. Edible. Okay. I was gonna say honestly, I think it's actually pretty good. I wouldn't say it's, you might need to go for a second I'd piece. I have them fried though. Like they're way better fried. I think. Well, yeah, but like because it know. just hides the flavor. Yeah, because it hides the flavor. But like if you're a true outdoorsman and really enjoy the taste of wild game, this is the strat. Definitely just three under the bus right there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Eggs and legs, not a bad combo. Honestly, I really don't think it's that bad. It's it's like. Chewy chicken, but it's well seasoned. There's good flavor for the whole thing. And uh, if you guys want to try it, that's pretty much it. We use seasoned salt, salt, pepper, made a kind of crusty omelet with some cheese on it and uh, called it a day. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.